Hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the world that could solve the biggest problem of our times. I started H2Go Power about 10 years ago. We build hydrogen storage infrastructure technologies. Why hydrogen storage is such an essential piece for energy security? Because if you generate a lot of hydrogen, you cannot consume it all at once. It's very similar to electricity. So you have to store some of it for when you need it the most and the supply is not available. That enables taking hydrogen when it's generated at the lowest price when it's available and use it when the demand is high and when it's needed the most. We put a layer of AI decision making on top of it to make the bridge between supply and demand not only viable, possible, automated and easy to operate, but also control the pricing of the environment from one end to another end. Starting my journey was unplanned. I was a PhD student at the University of Cambridge. I did my research on hydrogen storage and then a trip to Africa towards the end of my PhD transformed my thinking about energy, climate, and how the technology that you could develop in the lab as a scientist could actually be put in use for solving real problems and creating impact and good. What I saw in Africa was that people had no access to power to perform very essential tasks for their livelihood. Cooking, studying for children. If you have to do homework at night, how do you do that if you don't have lights? And that thinking really transformed my wish to think about my career or what's next or what can I do with scientific research to take that forward to hopefully one day maybe even impact them or solve a problem that touches their life so drastically. Our biggest problem that we're facing when it comes to climate is oil. The energy that we are consuming as a growing population is heavily dependent on carbon, which means that we're generating a lot of emissions. Clean energy is essential to move away from crude oil and reduce emissions that we generate. One of the ways to generate energy in a clean way is to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. That energy gets stored as hydrogen. When the demand peaks at the point of use, we release clean energy that does not have carbon in it at the point of use. Hydrogen can be a transformational solution um, because of its elegance. The molecule does not have carbon to start with, so when you convert it chemically or burn it, you get all what you need out of it, which is the energy, and you don't get what you don't need out of it, which is the carbon. SDG 7 is about access to affordable and clean energy for all. SDG 7 was set by the UN to really back what has been agreed at the Paris summit. For the first time, there was an agreement that the problem is affecting everyone and we collectively need to set up targets and work towards them. And 1.5 degrees as a target is an ambitious target, but there's so much work that needs to happen to really reach the target. I stay optimistic by thinking about all the progress that has been achieved and made today around us. There's so much positive progress that can be celebrated in terms of advancing new technologies, seeing where engineering has brought us to in this world, how advanced and progressive as human beings we are today because of all the work that we've done in engineering. It keeps me really optimistic that a lot more can be done to solve critical problems that really get us to the right place that we need to be in to counter climate change.